everybody it's uh monday uh, what a start to the week um get jennifer into the car car doesn't start battery's dead again don't know why because i've been running it um we ran up to newport on on saturday to pull some mum and bat and that's a good long drive um i think the battery needs replacing because it's been playing up since i pretty much almost since he charged it so the problem with my car is the battery's under the pass under the passenger seat front seat it's not in the bonnet where a normal battery is citron thing so you have to move, take the headrest off move tip the seat back to access it so in my street it's just too difficult to do so my mechanic comes out and does it but he'll take the car back and charge it i've actually said you think it might need a new battery so i've messed him but we had to walk jennifer down to nursery and then rush back for me to get back in time to start work so i'm all hot and sweaty now as you can tell what a good start to the morning it doesn't matter everything's fine it was nice actually to get out in the fresh air and have a nice walk um i grabbed a coke out the fridge and rushed upstairs paul made me another cup of tea and brought it up i'm all logged in and taking calls now so yeah it's all it's all good uh we still got no one of our systems is still down so we still can't do certain jobs um but that's just the way it goes sometimes it could be worse i'm gonna yawn anyway i better get back to it i'll see you when i finish hi guys it's monday night and i haven't vlogged at all this may not go anywhere this week. I may have to have a week off next week. I don't know yet. Let's see what happens over the next couple of days. Um, went and picked Jennifer up. She was fine. Played with her. Had lunch. She just wanted to play for a bit. Had a rest. Came back down had tea. It's half past eight and we're Paul's in bed. I'm going to make a video. I've been colouring. Done a fair bit today. And it's just a matter of... Yeah, we're all tired from... I didn't sleep very well last night. Paul was worried about his mum over the weekend because she's on her own. She's had a few problems with her house. It's all fine now. Uh, I didn't sleep very well last night. Don't know why. So I'm going to make my video and try and get an early night. I'm going to try it at half eight now. Just after half eight, I'm going to try and get all the video under my ten and get the light off and go to sleep. Maybe listen to an audio book. Oh, no. Can't. Heaven's says this. Maybe read a book for half an hour. Um, at half nine so I'm going to crack on with that I'll see you tomorrow and we'll see if this goes anywhere this week can't guarantee it Oops. sorry hi everyone just got back from dropping Jennifer off it is Tuesday morning um, hopefully I might vlog a bit more soon but it's absolutely horrendous outside it's raining we're all wet at least Jennifer got in the warm quicker than we did because we had to walk back hopefully Carl will be coming to look at the car tonight and just get it started for me and as long as he does I'll run it up and down the bypass a few times tomorrow or just sit outside the house running the engine and sit in it um yeah it needs to be done if i need to do that every day i need to do it every day i'll get some diesel on the weekend uh so i'm back home i've literally my feet are soaking because my trainers are leaking and that's a problem i tend to make sure that jennifer and paul are all right but i don't worry about myself and then i suddenly need things uh i'll order some trainers um online from shoe zone i'm pretty sure yeah they do online ordering i've ordered from them before um i put them on the radiator to try them out before i have to go get her i've got a pair of boots but it's finding them i have to find them out soon um yeah it's it's raining today but oh she didn't mind the walk she loved it she loves the walk and she's now happily in nursery um which is great so i'm about to just get my work stuff out and get set up get this uh, work day done hopefully our system will be back up today it's supposed to be up sometime today but i don't know when it might be up now i'll find out when i log in um but yes going to put the tv on in the background watch some lazy masquerade which is sort of like a spooky channel they do spooky stuff and things like that and murder stories and missing people it's a really good channel if i remember i'll leave a link but if not uh, just type in lazy masquerade it's very easy to find it's one of the channels i do like to watch and i am subscribed to them uh, but yeah i better get myself set up to start so i'll see you hopefully when I finish. Right, so I'm back from picking up Jennifer. She's fine. She's downstairs in her travel cot watching Peter Rabbit. You might hear her cry in the background because she uh, she wants to come and sleep in mummy bed. And I said, no, because she can't sleep in mummy bed. Not on her own. She has to sleep in her cot. And if I get into the bed with her, she'll just jump on me. And I'm not having that. So um, I'm going to take a painkiller because my back is absolutely killing me. I've been very wheezy. It's all this uh, up and down a hill in the rain and wind. It's not good for me. <laughs> it is good for me but uh, it's not good for my asthma um so i am uh, i'm gonna watch some more lazy masquerade and do a bit of coloring while she hopefully has a sleep if she doesn't i'll go down and play with her obviously but she she's very tired um because she always gets really really 
silly and tearful when she's really tired so if you know he, I, was like, I just changed her nappy normally she'll just struggle and, and laugh and yell but no she just burst into tears so she needs a little rest she's been very busy didn't want to come home she wanted to stay at nursery she loves it there just with the because it's half term holidays and they've got the big kids in her room because she's quite little they put her upstairs with the babies she don't mind she loves it she loves babies she's ever so gentle with them they said and uh, very sweet with them but she does love babies <laughs> she loves every time we go past her she's all oh, baby and um, yeah it's a baby in there she loves them she's a very kind and sweet little girl very caring uh, so just put a load of washing on um yeah i'm working on a picture in my um what's it called art coloring birds i've nearly finished it i'm doing the flowers in the background now so that's good that'll be finished sometime till this week probably tomorrow um i've started my zodiac picture and i'm very pleased with the skin on it at the moment so i'm going to try and finish that well not finish it but do some more the skin's done um i'm working on her hair now it's not a filming night tonight I, I should be an ebay night but i got no energy for it i will try and find my book and get some listings up um so I will try and get some listings up tonight, even if it's only one or two. Try and slowly get back into that. It's just getting back into the the habit. And then I'm going to do a bit more colouring on my Zodiac. I'm going to do a bit more of my Beauty of Horror books. I said it's not filming night. So I've got, I mean, I can film a bit of my RTs if you do, if I feel in the mood, but I might just have the night off and do a bit more of it when I do my next colouring chat, which will probably be thursday or i might do a bit tomorrow if i'm coloring chat on thursday i haven't decided yet so just requested my pin from adsense apparently they sent it to me back in 2013 <clears throat> i don't actually remember that but i've requested it it's been resent out now so it comes by mail and it can take two to four weeks apparently i don't get that but if i get it i can put it in and then i can if i want to monetize the account um I might do certain things just simply because they already owe me £18 from the last time I was monetised, which was before this whole business where you had to have a 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours, which I've now got more of. I mean, I've had more than 4,000 watch hours for a long time. Um, I'm not worried about over monetising <coughs> in everything, so I don't know how it works. I need to have a look at it when it comes through, and if I can pick and choose... I may monetize certain things and not other things. I might monetize everything. Hopefully it'll be skippable ads. So if you're not wanting to watch them, just skip them. I mean, I tend to skip ads. Um, not always. If it's something I'm interested in, if it's a film preview or a film uh, trailer, I will watch it. Um, or something on Prime or Netflix, even though I haven't got Netflix. Um, I will have a look to see what, what, what it is. Well, if it's just something boring or something I'm not interested in, usually that's fashion and makeup because I'm a girl I get all that nonsense I just uh skip it but if it's film stuff I, I do watch the trailers that's how I have a look at, that's how I see a lot of film trailers these days is on YouTube ads or if I'm doing something else and uh it changes to another video and an ad comes on I'll just let it play especially if it's only a minute the only ones that get me is sometimes you'll get an ad that's eight minutes long and I'm like that's not an ad that's a program that's not an ad to me ads should be between five and ten seconds long as if it was on tv and in the uk that's they don't even last 10 seconds about barely 10 seconds long we don't have big long ads unless it's on a, something like one of the channels that shuts down they have infomercials on that's that's different kettle of fish um but i don't want particularly long ads i always skip the long ads because they're just boring and even though i'm a seller a reseller and i do get ads about reselling and doing reselling via amazon i skip them i'm not interested in watching those so i know some people say oh please watch the ads it helps yes of course it does and like i said if i'm busy coloring i'll, I'll be, half the time i misplace my remote control it's on the floor it's in the drawer and i can't reach it i just let them play i just let them go through it's not a problem sometimes i watch videos and i doze off so ads constantly play so the way i look at it i help out the channels i watch by watching ads when i'm coloring or if i fall asleep and i, I rewatch the video and skip the ads the next time but at least i've watched them at least they've played the first time i mean if it's only 10 seconds out of my day i don't have a problem with ad if it's two three minutes and i'm more sort of like oh you know that's too long for an ad an ad should be 10 seconds no more but that's my rant about ads i'm happy to monetize my account if you don't want me to let me know it's just i do need 
to find a way of bringing some more money in to pay for all the books and supplies because obviously I've got to keep the channel fresh and that does mean books and supplies. However, uh, when I, if I do monetize it, when I get my first payout from Google AdSense, I will run a competition, I will run a giveaway and I will um, give away either an Amazon voucher or a colouring book or something like that. Just let me know what you would like. Or a reading book. The way I think, if I give an Amazon voucher, you can buy whatever you want. And you can buy a colouring book or pencils or put it towards something else or a reading book. That's why I like Amazon vouchers. I always I always ask Paul's mum for Paul to ask his mum for Amazon vouchers. She's always give me vouchers. I say, please ask for Amazon vouchers. Please. She always gives me Marks and Spencers. And I don't buy, the only thing I buy from Marks and Spencers is bras. She gave me next one though, and I bought some nice tops. That was good. So I don't mind next. But uh, Amazon's better because I could buy a reading book, a colouring book, a DVD, all sorts of stuff. Because there's just so much stuff I like. Anyway, so I'm going to stop rattling now and I'm going to put this stuff away for now because I'll finish it later. And I'm going to take my painkiller because, like I said, my back is killing me. Um, I get it every now and again. It's because I've got big boobs. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm top heavy. And I'll admit it. I mean, I've done a lot of walking the last few days because walking Jennifer down the nursery and I'm not minding that at all. And I might have to walk her again tomorrow. And what we might do is walk her down every morning and then pick her up in the car in the afternoon because then I can run the car up and down the bypass and get some energy into it. But, I mean, obviously if it's... I mean, it's quite nice now, so it was a nice walk back, but it does hurt my back. So I'm going to take that painkiller. I'm going to watch some Lazy Masquerade again, because I love it. And then I'm going to just chill and maybe do a bit more colouring. I might get my Zodiac out and, and do a bit of that, actually. Hmm. So people said they liked seeing my whips. Um, so what I might do is on Saturday show you all the whips I've got at the end of the week. Um, if there's any new ones, I won't show you all the old ones again because you've seen them all. Um, but obviously if I, if I, uh, I show new ones or if I do show them all again, you'll know which ones I finished and which ones I haven't because they won't be shown. Or I'll do them once a month. I don't know. I haven't decided yet because it's the end of the month, uh, this week. So we're going to have a lot of videos next week. There's going to be the haul, the completed pages. I'm currently working on the Arteza pencils one. I have purchased... Um, a set of the Arteza Watercolour 120 set. I've got them cheap from somebody on Facebook who used to have a shop that stocked Arteza and it closed due to Covid. So she's selling off the back stock cheap. So I think it was £45 with shipping for the 120 So I'm happy with that. I just took that out of my savings. So I like watercolour pencils and I'm, I want to try the Arteza one. So. And it gives me content. And I like that sort of content. I like trying different products. So, like I said, if there's a product you want me to try, leave a comment down below if you want to. Like, for instance, if you want to see me try Distressed Inks. I've got one. I, they're all right. I've got pan... I've got not, I haven't got pan pastels because they're expensive, but I have got pebbles chalks. But say, for instance, you want me to try, I don't know, the, some metallic watercolours. Let me know. And although if they're expensive, I might have to save up a bit for them. I, I'll get them at some point. And I will... I will show you. I've got the Arteza, not Arteza, so I've got the Derwent pastel pencils in my, uh, on my wish list, um, but only the, is it the 48 set, I think, because they haven't got the 72 or the 36. They haven't got the full 72 set on Amazon at the moment, so I've put in the, the smallest, the biggest set I can find on there. <clears throat> now, that's on my wish list. Now, normally my mum and my brother buys me stuff off my wish list. Whether or not they'll get me them, I don't know. I might get lucky. What I do is I just load up my wish list just before Christmas and my birthday and let them choose. I have no idea what I'm going to get because I don't look at it um, in the lead up to Christmas or my birthday just simply because I'm never going to, you know, I'm, I don't want to know what they've got me. And then uh, when I get it, I delete that particular item off of the wish list. I know if you buy it directly from the wish list, it deletes anyway, but they don't do it like that. They <laughs> it's just the way they do it but that's okay I'm gonna go now because I've been ranting for 10 minutes not ranting but rambling for, for 10 minutes and I think she might have gone to sleep she's gone quiet which is good so I'm gonna crack on watch some lazy masquerade and have a look at my zodiac special I can't wait to start the Christmas one I'm gonna I'll see you later on tonight and hopefully Jennifer will say hello too hi guys Andrea everybody's in bed it's not that late I don't know what time it is actually my phone's here somewhere let me just find it Ooh. Sorry, I've got my colouring tray out ready because I'm going to 
chill out and colour for half an hour. I've just had a shower, as you can tell. It's very nice. Got clean sheets on this bed in the spare room. It's just coming up to, to 10 o'clock, so I'm just going to colour for half an hour. I do... Uh, I want to try and finish reading this tonight. I've only got a little bit to go. I'm on the suspect, so I'm near the end. I've started my Marilyn last interview one, and when I've read this one, I'm going to read a bit of the Agatha Christie book, which is massive, so I can pop it up on here as well, because uh, it's too heavy to hold. Then I'm going to be hitting the Marilyn uh, fictional book, Time and Norma Jean. Uh, so, yeah, I was thinking of colour in the Zodiac or the Edwina Matami uh, uh, Autumn Dreamlings, but I'm actually going to colour in this one this is the uh just a halloween coloring book for adults but it's weird because it the pages are on the left rather than on the right so being left-handed it might be a bit easier for me so i'm going to have a look through this and i think i'm going to do that one and i'm just going to use my um limache markers and just going to do a straight color something cute um fun to do yeah, I'm just going to straight colour it. It'll just be something to do while I'm watching a bit of YouTube before I read my book. Um, so yeah, it's, yeah, it's nice when you've had a shower and you get into bed and it's nice clean sheets. Normally clean the she do the sheets on the weekend, but uh, we ran out of time. So we did them tonight when we put Jennifer to bed. She's asleep. Paul's gone to bed. Just, he's probably not asleep yet, but I've uh, got a Marilyn cushion behind me. I need to get that dry clean, the cover. It's dry clean only. Um, do that when things get back to normal a bit. So I've got lots of cushions, so I'll prop my back up while I'm colouring or working. And oh, I'm going to yawn. Oh, dear me. I had a lovely long sleep this afternoon. I have had another sale on eBay, even though I haven't listed anything. So I am in profit for the month. Uh, not bad profit either. I'm, I'm happy with it. It's not, not like enough to live on. Uh, but I will obviously hopefully make more than that. Uh, I've just got to get myself back into the eBay zone. To do that, I need to clear off the, coffee, the big table properly, put the record, play, record cleaner away because I haven't used it um, for a while, put the records away. I've got one record video to make for the other channel. I have decided I'm going to call it Music, Movies and More and pretty much everything other than colouring is going to be on that channel. All movie related, all music stuff, so hauls, um, record reviews, film reviews, film book reviews. I'll probably mention them on here anyway, like I normally do, because we sort of have books on here as well. But that's it for tonight. I'm going to have a little colour, watch a little bit of Lazy Masquerade, because it's almost Halloween and you've got to watch horror stuff. Tomorrow football's on, so that's fine. Paul can watch that and I will listen to one of my audio books and then um, colour something. I'll probably colour my calendar in. Spend an hour or two doing that while he's watching the football. Well, 90 minutes. Plus the intermission. I call it intermission. We all know it's the half-time break. I call it the intermission. Or the interval. Because <laughs> I'm a bit daft. Anyway, I'm tired, so I'm going to crack on so I can get the light off earlier tonight. And I'll see you tomorrow and let you know how I've gone. Good morning, it's Wednesday. Uh, I've just dropped Jennifer off at nursery. Oh my God, when I got up at six o'clock, it was absolutely hammering down. I mean, really, really heavy rain that you put your head out the door and you're soaked. I thought, I'm not walking down in this. Luckily, by the time it was time to get her out and go, it stopped and actually the sun's trying to come out. I'm actually really warm from walking up and down the hill. It's good exercise, so I'm not complaining. Um, I will be glad to get my car back. I'm not sure when that's gonna be. Tomorrow, maybe, if I'm lucky. He's going to test the battery and then if necessary get a new one which i said that's fine if it needs a new one get me a new one i am just logging into my uh, works computer because it's nearly time to start other than that i feel fine i'm uh, had a nice night's sleep had some lovely dreams dreamt about some people i used to know fondly uh fond dreams so that's not too bad and uh yeah i'm gonna put lazy masquerade on in the background because i'm loving the horror stories due to the fact that it's almost halloween say if you're watching a whole movie um they're just stories you listen to so if if a call comes through i can just pause it and then carry on with it once the call's finished so i'm going to start doing that because some of the stories are really really creepy very good but creepy um yes that's it really uh tonight i've got oh more washing to do two orders to pack that's fine because i'll drop them in tomorrow if i walk in down i'll just drop them in at, at lunchtime um after we've picked her up or i'll say to paul go drop them off and i'll carry on walking down and catch us up um if he comes because if he's got meetings across lunch he can't so he might have a meeting today so i have to go on my own but yeah i got two to pack one cindy item there's not many of those left now which is good and a pair of jeans so anyway 
I'd uh, better crack on, get logged in, get started, get the shift done. I will see you later. Bye, we are in the ball pit, aren't we, Jennifer? Nah. Are you going to throw balls at me? Ah. Uh. She's going to throw balls at me. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> that hit me on the head! Having fun. Back from nursery, aren't we? You had fun today at nursery, didn't you? You painted, you got blue paint in your hair. Yeah. You had our lunch, you ate all yours, didn't you? Daddy's still working, bless him. Oh, well done. And we're playing in the pit. You want to throw him at mummy? Throw it at mummy like that. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, watch out. Here it comes. Ah! Put that tongue away. <laughs> you red. You red? Ah. <laughs> you are, Jen. Have a ball. Oh, that hit me right on the forehead. Well done. Glad I get. Oh! And again. Any more? Oh, you missed. That went over. Oh, missed. Try again. Are you still marking? Oh! Oh, me. Oh, careful. You nearly fell on mummy then. You got it? Oh, you kicked half of those out the pit. Uh, Didn't you? Uh, Again. Uh, oh. It's fun. That hit me in the nose. Yeah. This is what I have to do in an afternoon. Outside now, I've got to put the balls back in, haven't we? Or oh, not. Oops, missed. You're cute, Jen. Oh dear. She's watching the three little pigs. Doesn't look very happy. So it's Wednesday night. We've just, we've just put Jennifer to bed. I'm in the shed. As you can see, it's, it's pitch dark out there. It's a bit of moon. And in here it's nice and bright. The light's working lovely. I've only got two to pack. I'm really not in the mood. Not feeling too good today. Feeling a bit down. But hey. We'll survive. I'm gonna pick these two orders and take that. As you see, it's a bit of a mess with boxes everywhere, so I need to come and sort it out. Yeah, I'm really not in the mood tonight. Just feeling a bit depressed. Um, miss my mum. It is what it is. I'm sure I'll survive, but I do miss her very much. So I better crack on and uh, find these two items and then see if I find my notebook so I can get some more stuff listed because I still haven't bothered and it's just silly because I want the money so yeah I'm gonna crack on with this and I'll uh, see you later hey everyone it's Andrea oh I'm all out of focus I don't know it's gonna focus oh dear hang on let me try again. there we go that's better um yeah uh, it's bedtime well it's past nine i think something like that i don't know paul's watching the football it's manu versus leipzig he's watching that on bt sports app he's got which he pays for he's got three months free and then he has to pay 15 pound a month and i said it's fine if he wants it we'll pay for it because he doesn't watch much football and he only wants to watch the manu and you know the internationals so i said he could um he can have that as long as he wants he can watch as much as he wants because he doesn't ever moan about anything on the TV, puts up with Jennifer watching what she wants. Yeah, we do moan about it when she's in bed. Um, 
he lets me watch my YouTube or whatever I want. I, I tend to stay away from films. If I want to watch a film, I tend to watch it late at night when he's in bed. He's not really into films. Although we did watch uh, the Lightly Lads film together and he enjoyed that. And I'm in bed doing some serious reading. I didn't fancy colouring tonight. Um, I did a lot of colouring earlier on. I have got a uh, Hannah Lynn that I want to finish. I only started today and I've not got much left to do on it. So I'll probably finish that tomorrow. I'll film a colouring chat tomorrow, which of course you will have already seen anyway. Um, but I'm sitting in bed. I'm just reading. I've been reading a few poems. I've got I've had this book for years and I've never read it called How to Be Well Versed in Poetry. And it's um, short versions or comedy versions of very famous poems. And I've, I've only ever dipped into it. I'm reading it cover to cover. I have been for years. Um, but I pulled it out and, and read a couple of those. I've read one, because poetry, I can't read a lot in one go, I have to be in the mood. I've read one by uh, William Blake, because I've got the works of William Blake here. I've had this for years and only ever dabbled in it. And I've got a load more poetry books up on the top. So I'm going to get through the three I've got here. And there's another one in a minute I haven't read from yet. Um, and then once I've uh, finished at least one of these, I will then grab the first poetry book on the top. I am also still reading, I'm reading this, uh, The Last Interview and Other Conversations, uh, Marilyn Monroe. I have got two more of them to go, so that's not going to take long to finish. I will probably finish that tonight. I have my poetry book, um, which is Thomas Hardy Poems. This is a Folio Society edition, which I've got from eBay. Um, and then when I have finished the Marilyn book, I'll just get the other two books that I'm going to be, or three books that I'm trying to work my way through. So I'll just get those so I can show you. Okay, I'm going to snuggle back down in a minute. So uh, when I finish the Marilyn one, I am going to start reading another Marilyn book because I've always got tons of Marilyn stuff to read, either fiction or non-fiction. Next one is fiction and it, I've shown you it before. Time with Norma Jean by Elise Douglas a time travel no novel i can't wait to start. i'm going to be starting that one tonight i know that because i'm going to finish that other one fairly shortly i'm really in enjoying uh i enjoy fictional books on marilyn uh, as long as they're respectfully done i've got a whole shelf full and a load i haven't read yet so um yeah so there's always something marilyn i've got 80 pages left in Simon Louvish's uh, book May West It Ain't No Sin so I'm going to try and read this I've got another two May West books to read uh, one's another full biography and the other one is the films of May West so it's a, just a list of her films and the um, synopsis and reviews so I'm really cool that one's got the films of Clark Gable up there and the other book that I've pulled that I want to make a dent in I've had it for ages I think it was a present from somebody for Christmas or birthday I think I might have bought it myself. I can't remember. I've had it that long and I haven't read it. And that's the complete secret notebooks of Agatha Christie. So I have read a bit of it. Um, yeah, I'm about a quarter of the way through it. Uh, but I haven't finished it. So I do want to carry on reading that. So that's my plans on the reading. Oh, there's one more down here that I haven't read yet. But I'm waiting. It's not on Goodreads. So I don't want to add it myself because I'm sure it will be added at some point. And that's uh, Pictures of the Abyss by Andrew Firth. If I have to, I will add it, but I just, you know, I want to um, crack on and get some. And I've got an audiobook I need to finish as well, but I don't know when that'll be done. It's very near the end, so it'll probably be tomorrow, maybe, um, which is the death of December. I still haven't finished listening to it because I'm quite funny with audiobooks. Sometimes I like to listen to them when I'm lying in bed trying to sleep, so I might put it on tonight. But yeah, so I'm going to read a bit of each one of those. Like I said, I'm going to finish the Marilyn one. I've got the poem. I'm going to read the Thomas Hardy poem next. Then I'm going to finish the Marilyn book. And then I'm going to read a chapter of, or a few pages of Mae West. And then I'm going to start the Norma Jean book. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, I've got so many books. I really want to get onto The Princess in the Tower. But I do want to try and finish... Uh, at May West before I pull that one down. I really want to read that one. I bought that um, car boot sale. I bought that and a book on, I think, oh, I can't remember what it was. It was two books like that I bought and a load of poetry books um, that I bought from my poetry book collection because I, I really like poetry. Uh, I have got some other ones. I've got, uh, I've got the, I got a Dorothy Parker one, which is the unpublished. So it was what was, what she didn't publish during her lifetime. 
And then I've got certain other things, like I've got James Joyce Dubliners, I've got a load of um, novels by Austin. Do you know what? I've got two copies of Dracula, so that paperback can go, because I've got a hardback of it. So I will actually get rid of that one. I can go my stuff to go. A load of Thomas Hardy paperbacks. I really, really want to try and get um, the Folio Society ones, because they are so beautiful. I have got, I think, one <laughs> somewhere, and it's, um, yeah, the Mayor of Casterbridge, which is my favourite one. So... Yeah, I do like Thomas Hardy. A lot of people find him depressing, but I quite like him. Tessa Durville's is my least favourite book, which is actually his most famous. It's my least favourite of his. But anyway, that's about it, really. I am going to crack on and uh, do this because I am starting to prepare my um, end of the year review. So, yeah, I'll be doing a video on the end of the year, at the end of the year, and it'll be a review of basically how many colouring books I've bought, how many colouring pages I've coloured, how many films I've seen, not enough, and how many books I've read and my favourites of, um, not necessarily the colouring pages or books, but my favourites, uh, favourite of the normal books and my favourite films and things like that that I've watched this year. So I'm starting to prepare that because that's going to be a lot of information that I've got to collect, especially when it comes to colouring books and colouring pages. So I'm going to start doing that um, soon. And I'm just sitting there. I still haven't finished sorting out my whole Hollywood shelf. I do need to tidy up in here. It's a right tip. So I might do that tomorrow. Jennifer hopefully will sleep tomorrow. She didn't sleep this afternoon. That's so why she went out straight away. She wriggled out of her sleeping bag. She hates the sleeping bag because it constricts her. Um, but it's cold. So she actually pulled the blanket down, which was hanging on the edge of the cot, and pulled that over her instead. She's ready for big bed now. So, um... Towards the middle of November, me and Paul have got a long weekend. So we've got a Friday, a Saturday, Sunday, and then a Monday off. So we plan on decorating her bedroom. We can put the heating on. It's not a problem. We can order a mattress um, for her bed. She's, the bed's in, we've got the bed, so that's fine. Um, so on the Friday morning, when she's at nursery, we'll wash the walls down, give them a good clean. And then on the Monday, we'll start decorating it. And hopefully we'll get most of it done. We will try and do some of it on the weekend as well a bit so but it's just because it needs doing and once it's painted we can start putting nice pictures on the wall and get her bed up i got to order a duvet cover duvet and some pillowcases and stuff um but i'll be looking at that then i mean we could probably manage because we've got a spare duvet and we've got a single cover but i want her to have her own stuff so it's all nice and new because she deserves that so it'd be very nice. I will show you her bedroom once it's done. And her bedroom's tiny. It is the box room. But she only sleeps in it at the moment. She don't play in it. So, of course, there may come a time when she wakes up and she's in her bed and she gets out of her bed and she'll play. She has got cuddly toys up there to play with and things like that. We'll put some other bits up there for her. There are books for her to look at. Um, we'll put her dolls up there and uh, maybe one of, you know... Uh, when that happens, I'll start leaving my bedroom door open so she can come and lurk at me. She can't open my door at the moment, it sticks, so that's good. Or the bedroom door, she can't open it, it sticks, so. But yeah, sounds like Paul's coming up, so I'm going to call it a night and I'll see you in the morning. Bye! It's Thursday morning, everyone, and we're just taking Jennifer to nursery. It's another horrible grey day, as you can see. She wanted to have a little run with her daddy, so that's why they're up there and I'm back here. Not feeling it today, but I'll explain why when we get home. She's so sweet. Hey guys, I'm at work. I would have uh, updated earlier, but I had a bit of an asthma attack when I got back, so I was feeling a bit wheezy. And now I just feel shattered because it always wears me. It always makes me feel exhausted after having one. Um, yeah, I'm not in a happy place today. Um, I'm fine. Paul's fine. It, it's it's Jennifer. I feel sorry for every morning when she gets up she has to go to nanny and bampies and i go to her and i say well we can't go to we can't go today but we're not allowed but as soon as we're allowed to we'll go okay and she goes okay in her sweet little voice but i know when i pick her up from nursery at one o'clock she's gonna ask her nanny and bampies again and i'll explain it again and then she'll do it again tomorrow and it's heartbreaking it makes me want to cry because she's so young, she doesn't understand what's going on. She doesn't understand that there's this pandemic. And she doesn't understand that she can't, because it puts them at risk. Um, my dad's 80 in December, my mum's 76 at the moment. So they're not young. Um, so I think with that and the asthma attack, I just want to curl up and go back to sleep. 
because it's twice a day every day and she does talk to them on the phone in the evening and you know nanny and bampy come on and have a chat with her but for me it's just it's just heartbreaking that she can't see them and uh, i just want to cry and so i'm just sitting here taking calls and I, I just i've lost it i don't care about being on my own and and sticking with it i know i can talk to mum and dad on the phone i miss them i want to see them too but I, I know it's for their their safety as well as mine and and everybody else's but jennifer doesn't understand that she's only well she's not even three all she knows is she, that i'm stopping her from seeing a bampy and i know she don't hold it against me but i feel bad and it's not my fault it's nobody's fault it's just the situation that we're in and it's just very very hard to see that beautiful little face look so sad and confused because she doesn't understand and it's just too hard good morning everyone it's friday hooray last day of the working week been paid which is great i did lose a day pay though because of um having a day off when jen was ill the other week i didn't think it would go out this month but it has i thought they've underpaid me so i'll have to try and check my pay slip um i'll have a look if i can get into it and if they have i'll have to email the hr team but that's fine um i didn't think it would go through till next month but it looks like it has yeah, I didn't vlog yesterday afternoon because, like I said, I was feeling a bit really down. Um, uh, and it didn't get much better throughout the day. It felt terrible. Um, mo mostly it's because I had an asthma attack. And that always makes me feel very, very tired and sleepy. Um, and, of course, because of Jennifer and wanting to go to Nanny and Bampy's. Which is unavoidable, sadly. And then I, I tried to have a sleep, but Jennifer wouldn't set off a pool so I went back downstairs and played with Jennifer which was fine she was good she was jumping on me and she climbed up my back it's like having a massage really um but other than that, everything's fine I, I'm fine today she, again she asked again this morning but I think she's going to until she can see Nana and Granddad which is really really sad because um I, I can't do anything about it it's, it is what it is and until uh, we know what happens what's happening happens it's just going to be i'm sorry there's some steam on the camera lens so on a positive side i woke up this morning to find that, approved, that youtube had already approved my monetization now i didn't tell you this because i didn't vlog yesterday uh my pin arrived for google adsense so i went and sorted that out and that was all updated and fine and then this morning i got up and went on because i was trying to upload a video last night and it didn't work for some reason maybe it's because they were reviewing stuff i don't know um i went in to see if to um have a look see if it had uploaded and it hadn't so i'll do that one today which is friday so you'll have seen it and um they uh they'd approved monetization so i've looked briefly through all the videos that i've already posted and all but one so far are eligible and i'm thinking the one that's not is is one of the holiday vlogs which is jennifer heavy which is understandable and i'm not gonna as you'll have noticed i'm not gonna monetize the the weekly vlogs um they don't cost me anything to do other than time it's just showing you what i do a bit day to day so i'm not gonna monetize them because i do show jennifer a lot so it's fine i don't want to monetize that i don't want to make money off of her um however she will benefit from any money i do make um i've temporarily well i've, I've monetized four or five of various types um they've all like i said they've all been approved for monetization so i will go through and probably approve them all um i will check that the ads are playing because i have got another google youtube account i'm not gonna cheat and watch the ads through every single video i'm just gonna watch to make sure that they are showing which is great and then we'll just see how it goes but i was really pleased to see that this morning i've got to get myself ready for work because it's nearly time i'll let you know a bit more about the the google adsense stuff when i uh, know a bit more about it and when i see what's happening and if it's working and if i'm the idea is that i make enough money to pay for i mean i have to put it through tax because it's extra money it has to be taxed um it's on top of my salary it's on top of my ebay so i do have to do it uh, and i will it's just a matter of um uh, adding it to my um tax return and my i have a an accountant package with uh intuit quickbooks and I'll, every time i get a check i will just put it on there business income 
Google AdSense and it'll run through the tax account and if it can if I can make just enough money just to buy a few books and supplies then I'm happy I might be able to save up and get the Holbeins or some Karen Dash which I haven't tried or the Albrecht Dürer I'd like to try those but they are very expensive so I might just save the money for those um I'm going to go now because I've got to log on. I'll talk to you later a bit more about the plans for any money you made from Google, but most of the money, other than for tax purposes, will be ploughed back into the account. I'll see you later. It's actually evening. I haven't vlogged much today. I did have a sleep this afternoon because Jennifer was tired and she kick was kicking off. So she needed a time out, so she went into a cot and she cried for a bit, then she settled down and went to sleep. She's in bed now just to try. And I'm about to film my last colouring chat for the month. Uh, which is going to be an April Amber's Chibi Halloween Chibi Girls Halloween um, and then next month the first current chat will be uh, Jade Summer Tattoo Grayscale because somebody asked me to do one of that and then somebody asked me to do one in, Gray in Chibi Girls Volume 2 of The Skater so I'll be doing that that'll be the second one in November November is whatever I feel like doing I'm going to just do it so I'm going to start the um, cutesy Christmas colouring book by Colouring Heaven um, I'm going to finish off whatever Halloween I, I want to do. I get a bit fed up of witches, but I've got a few that I need to finish off. So if I don't finish them off uh, today, which is Friday the 30th or Saturday the 31st, then I will uh, finish them off probably in November. I haven't done any of the whips I want to finish by the end of the year, but again, I shall do little bits. I'll just tackle little bits at a time on each one, I think, just to get them done. So that's it, yeah. It's been a very strange... Very strange. Very strange. Day. But it's all good. Anyway, I'm going to crack on with this. I'm watching some uh, programs on ancient Egypt because I, I am interested in that. And, uh, um, but yeah, so it's just timeline. And I've had a nice shower and I feel a bit tired. So I'm going to crack on with this because I want to do the whole picture in one go. Um, I've picked a fairly simple one so it shouldn't be too difficult. I'll see you in the morning. It's Saturday and I am so relieved. Hi everyone, it's uh, Saturday morning. We're just waiting for Paul's mum, Sally, to come around. So we've been tidying up downstairs. Needed doing. I got tired up here later. Um, so I've just been sorting out the washing. All I ever do is seem to wash. There's a lot of books behind me. I just noticed. There's a lot of books in front of me. There's just a lot of books. I, I received these this morning. So you think, oh, you've got Arteza pens, but these are the watercolour ones. And I love watercolour. And I'm going to test those um, when I do my product review in the Christmas book um, from Karen Heaven. Because there's some that I think, like the Sarah Kay one, they're very cutesy and they'll lend themselves to watercolours very, very much, very, very well. So, yes. Uh, I had done my hair once this morning, but Jennifer's been pulling it out, so I'm going to go and brush it again now. So yeah, I don't know what's going to happen, but Sally's coming down for an hour or so, have some lunch, and then uh, we might go out for a walk. You never know. It depends on the weather. It's been horrible today. Um, I'll see you in a bit. Alexa. Show me what you've got, Jen. You've got an egg. Some... Is it a kinder surprise? Uh... You have to take the, the, the plastic off first. Take the foil off. Je we've just been to the shop and this is Jennifer's first Kinder Egg. Do you want me to take it off for you? No. Okay. Thing inside that egg, Jen. So be careful while you're eating it. Good girl. So we went to the shop just to get a few supplies and she wanted a Kinder Egg before she'd seen them on YouTube. So we picked one up for her to try. Luckily the toy's inside something else. Inside. Oh, it's falling apart. There we go. Let's pick up this bit here. And this bit, take that bit out, because there's something in there. We'll have a look at that after, all right? You eat your chocolate. And we'll try and get this egg open, all right? Is that nice? Mm. Yeah. Good girl. So Jennifer's still enjoying the chocolate while Daddy figures out how to actually get inside the plastic thing. Oh, he's done it. What have we got? That's a little toy, so you've got to be very careful bits with it. And Let's put it together, shall we? See what it is, and then we'll show everybody. Yeah. Apparently it's a little chicken, it's mama. There's the mother. And there's a little chick, apparently. What's going on in that ball pit? Uh, big baby got in. 
Looks like there's two strange people in there. Oh, Jennifer and, and oh daddy and she's kicking all the balls out. Shoe. Oh and my shoes. My shoes are also in there apparently. Hello. Hey Jen. Hello. No. Staying with there with Daddy. Where you belong in, in jail. Funny you two are. You two get rich of the West. Ah. Hello. What on earth are you two doing in there? She's half the balls are going out. I can see that. She wants me to lie down. Okay. Tell her the rest. Why? Because she was. Okay, that's a bit strange. Now. <laughs> She's burying you in the balls, is she? Yeah. And throw them at my face, Jennifer. You can see that, yeah. Jennifer. Cold. Strange. Strange things are going on in the ball pit. Hello, oh, Sunday morning, everybody. And I don't know what time it is, but it's very, very early. Yeah. It is 6.23. Around four o'clock this morning, Jennifer started crying and I needed the loo. So I went to see what was wrong and she'd been sick everywhere. So I got her out, changed her, changed her bed in. Took her into daddy while I went downstairs to wash my hands, get her a drink of water and put all the dirty stuff in the wash, washing machine. She then threw up all over daddy. So we changed her again, brought her downstairs, and we've been here ever since. I think she's afraid to go and sleep now in case she's sick again. But her bed's all ready and clean for her, and all the, the stuff that's dirty, apart from one set of pyjamas, which is upstairs, is in the washer. She was coughing a bit, so I think she just coughed so much that she made herself sick. But she's all right, she's not got temperature or anything, and she just wants to cuddle mummy and watch Waffle and play on the game on my phone, so... Yeah, she's a very good girl. She's very sleepy. Is that you? Hey. How are you feeling now? You feeling better? You got bad belly? No. No? You feeling sick? No. No. Good girl. Yeah, I think it was all that excitement. She found out last night she could jump out, get out of her cot, and. Uh, and she was running around like a loon for ages. So I think she overdid it, ate too much before bed, and then ran around like an idiot, jumping down. Took ages, got 11 before she settled down, and then four o'clock she's up. So I've had about three hours sleep because it took me ages to go off because I was worried about her getting out of bed again. I think we got the stair gate upstairs at the moment, but poor kid. Anyway, I'll see you later. I'm hoping that when Paul gets up, I'll be able to go back to bed for a bit. Jennifer's all better now and we're going to go shopping and get our food, aren't we, baby? You playing with your reins? Jen? Hey, look, Jen. Look, baby. Is it you? Good boy. Good girl. Say hello. Hello. Oh, she's a bit quiet, but she's all right today. Okay, guys, that's the end of the week. Um, everybody's in bed. I'm in bed. I'm tired. Sunday was a right off, pretty much because of... Yeah, Jennifer being sick in the night and uh, me being up most of the night with her so yeah that's uh that's the end of it um I will see you in the next one which begins tomorrow hope you've enjoyed this weekly vlog and I'll see you guys soon bye